Summary The Prisoner of Zenda by Anthony Hope Hawkins. Anthony Hope Hawkins wrote The Prisoner of Zenda in the 1800s. It is an action and thriller novel about the kidnapping of the future king of the made-up country of Ruritania. The book led to a long line of similar books set in idyllic but made-up places in Central or Eastern Europe. It was so popular that it gave rise to a new type of book, the Ruritanian Romance. The story starts with Rudolf V, the soon-to-be-crowned king of Ruritania, throwing a party the night before his coronation. Rudolf Rassendil is an Englishman and a distant cousin of Rudolf V. His name and appearance are eerily similar to those of the future king. Rudolf Rassendil goes to the party and sees his cousin again. While the cousins are having a party, Duke Michael of Strelsaw, Rupert V's younger half-brother, takes advantage of the king to drunkenness as in weakness to set himself up for the throne. When the servants wake up, Rudolf V is passed out. They don't know it, but Michael's plan is still affecting him. But they think he is still drunk from the night before, so they move quickly to make sure the coronation goes off without a hitch. They convince Rassendil to take advantage of the fact that he looks a lot like the drunk king and goes to the coronation in his place. Rassendil reluctantly agrees to play Rudolf V and does a good job of it. After the ceremony went well, Rassendil and the other helpers went back to check on the king. During the coronation, Duke Michael carried out the second part of his plan and took Rudolf V hostage. The worried servants beg Rassendil to keep acting like the king until they find out where the real king is and free him from captivity. The Englishman has no choice but to agree. The main character, who doesn't know it, gets stuck in a strange, one-sided situation with the bad guy, Duke Michael, because the Duke can't figure out who he is without revealing his own evil. Rassendil acts in a very good way, so no one knows that he is not the real king. Soon after that, the beautiful Princess Flavia comes to court. Rassendil starts to like Flavia, even though he shouldn't. This is a bad idea because Flavia is already engaged to Rudolf V, the real king. The servants of Duke Michael find out from his mistress that he is holding the king hostage in the castle at Zenda. Rassendil and a group of loyal men check out the castle, but people who are loyal to the duke try to kill Rassendil and make him stop the plan. Duke Michael offers Rassendil a deal through Rupert, one of Duke Michael's most loyal servants. The duke says he will pay Rassendil a lot of money if he gives up his claim to the crown and leaves Ruritania. The Englishman turns down the offer, so Rupert attacks him. He only hurts him, though. Rassendil and the king's servants try to figure out how to get the king back. To learn more about their situation, they kidnap a castle servant and make him tell them everything he knows. Johan, one of the servants, says that if Rassendil tries to attack the castle, the duke has told the guards to kill the king and hide his body. With this knowledge, Rassendil decides to sneak into the castle and make sure the king is healthy. As he sneaks out, a servant sees him. This starts a fight in which both people die. Rupert, who works for Duke Michael, tells him that he loves the duke's mistress and offers to betray him by helping Rassendil. The Englishman turns down his offer once more. Johann tells Rassendil and his men that the king is sick and that Duke Michael has sent a doctor to help him. With this new information, Rassendil decides it's time to take action so he pays Johann to open the castle door for him in the early morning hours. But the Englishman sneaks back into the castle before the agreed-upon time and watches as Rupert fails to seduce Michael's mistress, is caught in the act, kills his master out of jealousy, and then escapes from Michael's guards. Duke Michael has been sent away, and the castle is in disarray, so Rassendil steals the key to the king's cell and goes to get Rudolf V. They get out of the castle, but so does Rupert, who, after a short fight with Rassendil that didn't end well, disappears into the night. Rudolf V gets back to where he belongs, which is a happy ending for everyone except Rassendil and Flavia, who have to say goodbye. Hawkins' second book, Rupert of Hentzau, picks up the story three years after his first book, which was published in 1894. It is about how the villain, who has gotten away, tries to use his knowledge of Rassendil and Flavia's affair to control King Rudolf.